Welcome back, everybody. Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming. It's still November 1st. Uh, so let's see. What have we done? I um, I went ahead and did that, that large sugar beet contract. And I employed workers and kind of just managed those workers while I did my hay. And it worked out pretty good, actually. We're sitting on $30,672. Uh, but we actually made more around, like around $40,000 off of it uh, with the sugar beets. Uh, that I also sold. Um, but my uh, my truck ran out of fuel. Uh, this is the first time this has actually happened. And I'm not I'm not actually sure what you do in the vanilla game when this happens. I mean, how how am I supposed to get gas <laughs> get gas at this thing when it runs out? Um do we is it a deal where we can reset it? But even if we reset it, um, does it go to like to the gas station? Let's do this. Let's click on the truck and let's do reset. Do you want to reset this vehicle tool? Yes. Okay. So it says it was reset to the shop, um, which is my property, but that, how, how would I get gas in this though? That's what I don't understand. Even if I did reset it, it says, please. Re oh, it puts a little bit of fuel in it. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, and by the way, look at me. I got my head tracker. Yes. So I have my, I have the track IR and uh, yeah, I've been playing with that and having some fun with it. Uh, only works when you're actually in the cab, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, man. I can like go forward and look down on the dash. If I needed to, I can look down at my feet. Uh, yeah, right there. Tie my shoe. <laughs> looks great. This truck is terrible though for looking behind. Um, there's no lean out the window or anything. Uh, some of the vehicles really have actually pretty poor visibility in first person or in cab view, uh, in this game I've noticed, but anyway, it's fun. So, okay, so resetting the vehicle gives you a little bit of free gas. That's very interesting. But, um, I don't like that. I should not get free gas for being stupid and letting my vehicle run out of fuel. I actually had a worker using it while I was finishing up rolling on my fields. Um, and then when I popped into it, then all of a sudden it was out of gas. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do is, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start the engine up. And we're going to actually take it back out to the field. Uh, because quite some time ago, I installed a mod. And it's a field service trailer. And what it does is it brings fuel and, I guess, repair capability. Um, out to the field if you need service out in the field. Ooh so let's just take it back out to the field again. And we're going to um, get that service thingy and use that to actually refuel this the way that it should be done. Yeah, the head track is pretty cool. It it works a lot better, I think, in American Truck Simulator, which was kind of the main game that I bought it for. But it does work here, too, and it's, it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. I, I have worked a little bit more in first person than I normally would, you know, once I got it there. All right, let's pop this into reverse. And we'll hook back up to the trailer. I didn't get close enough to it. Bet you that's close enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the shop under miscellaneous, and it's this little guy here so the fst 995 the service trailer carries all the tools needed for you to configure vehicles in the field you can also carry fuel if required uh, it's going to cost us twenty four thousand dollars which is really expensive 
combinations. Oh yeah, with a pickup truck, exactly. But um, we're gonna get it because I installed the mod for this eventuality. Um, and yeah, okay, so let's go to here, back to the farm. And we'll hook this up to our pickup truck, get some gas in it, and then take it out and refuel the the man truck properly. Okay, so th this has terrible visibility too. I mean, I can't look out the window or anything to back up. The only thing option I have is the the mirrors and you know look at my mirror it's like going in and out so like yeah that's that's not really gonna work so you know it seems to me like the cab view in this game the first person cab view is more of a novelty than a, a, a practical way to play this game just because of the fact that the views aren't that great um it's fun to do every once in a while you know but it's not as cool as it uh or it doesn't work as well as I think it should. But we'll, you know, we'll use it every once in a while. Wow, that even worked that time. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so let's take this and put some fuel in it. how much fuel it's gonna hold it's kind of a neat little trailer though check it out man and I guess we can use it for repairing too it said you can reconfigure stuff out in the field but I'm assuming if you can reconfigure it probably lets you repair too so it's got like tools and all that sort of thing in it this isn't the best time in the world for us to be getting this but on the other hand um, you know, this is exactly what I got it uh, installed the mod for it for this situation, and so we're not going to just take free fuel from the game. We're gonna we're gonna pay for it, pay for it right, and then we'll have it, you know, for future. Seems like it's got a pretty big tank, man. Let's stop it if we at four thousand dollars. Wow, fourteen hundred and thirty-four dollars of fuel on this thing. It's <laughs> it's kind of high up in the air with that connection, and it's got like little compartments for tools and stuff. Okay, let's take it out to the field. This is really cool, man. I love this. I think the fuel, yeah, the fuel tanks on this side of the man. That probably doesn't matter in this game, though. Okay, so can we get up to here and... Do we have to pull forward a little bit more? Okay, so it's not giving me the option to fuel... Oh, activate service function. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, okay. So you have to put the... How interesting. Okay, so you have to put the vehicle maybe in here. All right, let's try that. Okay, now, look at this, workshop, open vehicle options, deactivate service function, okay, so it lets me repair it, but 
customize. All right, so it brings up the customize menu, which we don't care about. How do I refuel? That's what I need to figure out. All right, yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to be able to fuel this. I don't see an option for me to, like, pick up the nozzle. Oh, start engine. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now is there a fuel option? Oh, so see, this side's open. Okay, so that's probably the fuel side. Wow, okay. Um, I've mentioned this to you guys before, but for those of you who may not know, these mods come with, like, almost no instructions. You have to kind of just figure them out. Or watch, you know, a lot of people will put out videos showing how they work. There we go, refill truck. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, that's good. Listen to the engine, too. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Okay. That is a really neat mod. I love it. Just took me a little while to figure out how to do it is all. I wonder what its total capacity is for fuel. I didn't fill it all the way up. Okay, that's it for the man. Very neat. Okay. Let's get our cultivator hooked back up here. Okay, cool. All right, so what we need to do here is... I guess we go back behind here. Workshop. Okay, hide markers. No. Oh, yeah, deactivate service function. Okay, and then I think we have to turn off the engine. How do we do that? This might be easier to use if I would have disconnected the, the truck from it because it's... All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's go, um, let's just get this out of the way for a second because I think that's part causing some of my trouble here. There, okay, so now how do I turn the engine off? It doesn't give me the option to turn off the engine. Activate service function, switch hand tool. So what, is this thing just going to be perpetually on now? <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. <coughs> Aside from not being able to really figure out how to turn the fuel pump off, this is a really neat little mod here. I love it. I have no idea where we're going to put it. We need to get another shed, man. Definitely need to get another shed. Um, well, let's... Maybe we can put it... I'd kind of like to put it where the roller is next to the, wa the power washer. We'd have to figure out another place for the, for the roller then. But for now, I'm just going to... Park it right alongside the warehouse, I think. Yeah, so this uh, this man truck is it's essentially a 500 horsepower tractor. Uh, sands the the three point hitch. That's the only thing it doesn't have. But if you don't need a three point hitch, then you can use this for field work, man. Pretty amazing. It has a PTO too, for those of you who may not know. And this Russell Mosh uh, cultivator I have is rated for like 375 horse or something like that. And, you know, this, this pulls it like it's nothing. Uh, but I, I believe it has a limiter of nine, eight or nine miles per hour. So, yeah. Works pretty good.
I can pull this too with my um, New Holland, but my New Holland's um, slightly underrated, and so it takes it can only go a maximum of about seven miles per hour uh, or slower if it's on any kind of an incline. So this is just better overall. Okay, so yeah, let's get this finished up and then I believe we are gonna be finally done with November 1st. November has been a pretty busy month, but not as busy as October, man. We did a lot of stuff in October. We did quite a bit in November though, too. Not so bad. All right, and we are done. We'll take this back to the farm and then we'll turn in this final contract and then take a look at our... Uh, no, actually I'll sleep until November 3rd and then we'll take a look at our ledger. So yeah, actually I'll bring you guys back on November 3rd. So see you uh, in a couple of days. All right guys, um, I, I looked this up and I figured out how to turn the engine off. It's the M key as in mother, uh, which I think is the key I probably used to turn it on too. So yeah, M as in mother. I, I don't know why it doesn't show up in the menu though, uh, but for whatever reason it doesn't i mean the start engine shows up in the minute well now it is it wasn't before what the heck <laughs> it wasn't showing up before but now it is that is weird or was it that i just plain missed that i don't think i did i don't think it was showing up before i'll have to go look at the footage oh for pete's sake all right anyway let's um i think we're done i think we are finished in uh, on November 1st, let's just take a quick look at our chickens. They're in good shape. Let's look at our greenhouses. They're in good shape. And so, yeah, we're going to sleep till November 3rd, and then we'll finish out this month. Let's do it. Okay, it's November 3rd. What in the world is this thing? This machine can harvest indicated crop types. Oh, I think this is for forage. Yeah, I think this is like a forage uh, auger blower thingamadoodle. Because, yeah, it's got forage stuff down there. Okay. Um, this is this is actually a mod, you guys. This is the Swather Pack mod. I saw it, and I installed it. Uh, and was going to even get this instead of the Big M, but I still decided to get the Big M because the Big M has the widest uh, swath that you can get and the fastest. So I still went with that, but this is still kind of neat. It's a, it's a mod. You buy the swather separate, and then you can buy a couple of different headers with it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, nothing in the store there that we are interested in. Uh, chickens are good. Greenhouses are still good. And uh, so, yeah, I think we're ready to wrap things up for November. Now, I don't think anything's going to happen in, in December. Yeah, it still shows M there. How did I miss that? I don't think I did. I don't think it was showing up. I, I, I Okay, this is bugging the heck out of me. <laughs> I got to go look back at the footage. I'll be right back. All right, yep. I went back and looked in the footage, and that M was most definitely not showing up. So I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, it was bugging the heck out of me, though, man. Uh, yeah, it was not showing up. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the ledger for November. So what what did we buy? Oh yeah, we bought that we bought the service vehicle thingy. Okay, so that's where the 245 is from. Uh we spent a decent amount of money in repairs this uh this month. Man, we spent a lot of money in repairs. See, that's the downside to buying used stuff. And the older it gets, the more expensive it becomes to repair. So, you know, there is that. Uh, property maintenance 458. Uh, oh, yep. We got to do the usual. It's, it's a good thing that I, um, oh no. You know what? We have a problem here. That problem is that easy development controls. That's being superseded by the, um, the head tracker. 
So that means we're going to need to remap this to something else. Is F10 being used with anything? Let's see. Okay, I think we'll be able to get away with F10. I'm not sure if it's mapped to anything else or not. Uh, well, you know what? I should actually check. Hold on a sec. Let me just look really quick. Okay, I think we're all right. I didn't see anything else mapped to F10. Uh, okay, let's pay our worker the $3,200 for moving pallets for us. Okay, now we got that done. Uh, back into the ledger now. Okay, so we already looked at that. Our mysterious $134 uh, coming from production costs. Again, I haven't seen any comments from you guys on this yet. I've uh, This is Labor Day weekend that I'm recording this, so I've recorded like a bunch of episodes back to back. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then let's see, fuel cost, 24. We spent quite a bit of money in fuel, but a lot of that was filling up that field repair unit thingamadoodle. We made a total of $10,416. Most of that was from cotton and then maybe a couple of extra bales that we... No, we didn't do any bales. Where? What else would that have come from? We did cotton and... I don't remember what else we did. Oh, sunflowers, right? Didn't we do sunflower seeds this month or was that last month? I think that was last month. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe that's all from cotton. I'm not sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the sugar beets. Yeah, we had some extra sugar beets uh, after the cotton. Okay, so that's what that's from. We grossed $39,521 in contract income. We paid quite a bit of money out to the workers, though, because, um, you know, that sugar beet job in particular was really long. So I employed workers. Uh, this primarily is for paying our imaginary worker. And then a little extra money came out for something. I don't know. Can't, I can't think of what it would have been, would have been at the, off the top of my head. It would have been 32, so it would have been a 600 and some odd dollars miscellaneous. Oh, yeah, from the train station, right, duh, okay. Uh, so that means we are now sitting at uh, $10,027 at the end of November. But that's okay because we ain't going to make some money, you guys. Uh, so in December, I don't know that there's a whole lot going on in December. Um, Let's look at all of the product that we are going to sell. Uh, oh, wow. We should be selling. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I looked at this right now. We should be selling eggs this month. 1389. What is the actual price? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We need to be taking all these eggs down to the bakery like pronto while that price is, because that's price is starting to drop. Oh man, I'm glad I looked at that. Okay, so um, we're going to sell the eggs now. Silage, that should be, yeah, that's going to be January as that's pretty typical. And I think the three produce items are January as well. Okay, yeah, we got to sell eggs, you guys. My word. I'm glad I looked at that and didn't just assume we'd have to wait till January. That would have been a disaster. Uh, okay, so let me think. Think, 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 think. Uh, let's get our curtain side. We're going to make some money right now, baby. So let's go up to you. And we want to go to eggs. And we want to uh, change these eggs to... Uh, no, outgoing. Sorry. Yeah. Change the out... No, I hit the wrong button. Uh, change output mode to storing and yeah, they should all start spawning out there. Okay. Now let's pull the curtain side up to those guys. Okay. So we want to... Yeah, we could do left front. That's fine. And then where is the open curtain option? I thought it was Z. Oh, does the vehicle got to be on? Oh, I guess it does. Okay. Okay, start loading. Left shift R. 
Oh, we're not close enough. All right, you know what? We're just gonna do this. Okay, so that loads them up. Okay, let's go get the eggs at the chicken coop and then we'll come and pull all the ones out of the cold storage. Okay, we gotta open up the other side of the curtain to grab these. Right front. Shift R. How come that's not loading? You gonna stay put? I really wish we had a parking brake in this game, man. Oh, I know why it's not loading, because it's not a full pallet. Alright, uh, let's disable that option, which is O. Yeah, any, okay. There we go, okay. So, let's get to... Uh, truck down around this way. Okay, I'm just going to park the truck right here for now. And we've got to get all of the uh, eggs out of here. Nice. We can probably use this for that, that purpose. Sorry about moving my head so fast. I'm just not used to using the head tracking. Put some lights on. And then move that down. Okay, now I can kind of look out the back it's 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 a really weird because i'm turning my head but i'm still keeping my eyes forward <laughs> it's kind of a strange sensation man so here let's do this let's pull the truck back over here i want to show you something kind of cool that, that that with this loading thingy all right let's open up the back door which is x And we should be able to load these pallets in. Here, let's get into to this view. That's just a little bit much. Probably for you and me. Now, I think what we can do is just put the pallets in here and it'll auto stack them for us, I think. I'm not sure if it's going to work with a full stack, though. Let's just see what it does. Okay, it took one. Huh, okay. Does it only work one at a time? How interesting. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. All right. Well, that's not 
quite as efficient as just having it load them from the side, I guess. Hey, deer, get out of my cold storage. Okay, let's get back into first person here. stable this is going to be. What's the matter? Are we... Uh, oh, I think we were getting caught up on the wall for a second there. This is really weird, man. <laughs> Alright, here. Yeah, let's get into third person. Let's just load these up from the side. My um my heavy machinery panel is no longer in its usual position, so I keep I, my gear shift is sort of kind of where it used to be, so I keep reaching in the wrong place. Grabbing my gear shifter to raise the forks. Okay. Turn that off. I still have, in all the time that we've owned this forklift, I've still never had to charge it. It's so weird. Okay, so let's get into here. And we want to close the back door. And we want to open the curtain side left. Front. Hmm. Those aren't strapped. That's really weird. Now they are. They're still kind of crooked, though. I wonder if it's just because of the um, partial pallets or something. Normally it loads them in there nice and straight. No, no. All right. We have... 26,013 liters of eggs. Let's double check and make sure the bakery's still offering the best price. Uh, eggs. This is definitely the best month to be selling them. And bakery's offering $13.95, which is higher than what this says right here. So, yep, this is the time to go. So go to the bakery. Let's do it. I'll try a little bit of first-person driving here. We should probably put some lights on, eh? Yeah, this is... I don't know. It's just a little wonky. <laughs> Wonky honky tonky. This will get rid of a few of these massive pallets that we've had killing our frame rate and everything. Okay, here. Let's open up the curtain side and then you should see those. Uh, we got 947, but I got to back up, so. So we get them in the selling area here. Okay, let's see what we get. A year's worth of eggs. Thirty-five thousand. We'll say about thirty-six two because we got nine hundred from that first little bit that sold. So not too bad. 
Not too bad, I guess. Um, I know that in the early uh, months of figure, uh, figure skating, farming simulator, 20, uh, farming simulator, good gravy. Learn how to talk, man. Uh, farming Simulator 22, eggs were like just way, way OP. You can make so much money off them. And then, you know, the Giants nerfed nerfed them quite a bit. But, you know, for one, whoops, for one chicken coop, one big chicken coop, that is, uh, we made about $36,000. So if you had two, you know, then you could expect uh, 70, $72,000. Not too bad, especially if you consider all the grain that we've fed the chickens, we've essentially gotten for free because it's just been, you know, the extra grain that we've gotten after the harvest contracts. So not too bad. Definitely not our best money maker, but it's it's something. It's income. All right, cool. So knowing that we're going to be using this in December, I think I'm just going to leave it right here for the moment. Uh, I'm sorry, not December, in January. Let's turn that, that off. Uh, I'm not expecting to do anything at all in December. There's There there are no contracts in the winter months in the game. Uh, and we can't do our hay or anything else. Let's see. Chickens. Chickens will be fine. Uh, warehouses, or greenhouses, I should say, will be fine. You know, We've gotten, we've gone a, almost a whole year, you guys, without having to refill the fertilizer. So it looks like you get, it looks like you get at least a full year, if not more, from one load of fertilizer, which is good because that's so, that was by far the most expensive thing. We did have to redo the seed. So it looks like, you know, you get about, was it seven, eight months before you have to do the seeds, but it looks like you get at least a full year with the fertilizer, which is great. I have had to fill the water like three times, but that's, in terms of cost, that doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, guys, that is now we're done uh, with November. So we uh, have ended up with uh, $46,331. Uh, the bank has paid off. Oh, I don't think I told you guys this, but I actually ended up having to take another $5,000 loan from the bank because I was running out of money while we were working the sugar beets uh, for the workers. Uh, so I took another $5,000, but then when we were finished with it, I paid it right back off. So I don't know, where is that? Does, has that even reflected anywhere? Does it say loan payment? It says shows loan interest, but it doesn't show loan payments, which is interesting. Hmm. I wonder why it doesn't show loan payments. Well, anyway, yeah, that's what happened. I <laughs> I had to take five thousand dollars to to keep going or I was going to run out of money and the workers would have quit on me before the sugar beets were done so okay nevertheless $46,331 that is where we are um I think what we're going to do is wrap up this episode here now I have an announcement for all of you I am going to be out of town uh I'm leaving on Friday the 9th I'm flying to New York to Lake Placid New York in particular for work and I will be gone for uh for eight days, I think it is. I'm flying back on the 17th, I think it is. Um, so I'll probably get a couple more episodes out before I leave, but then there's going to be a week-ish uh, where there won't be any new content uh, on any of my series, uh, you know, because I'm going to be gone. But then when I get back, we'll resume, pick up where we left off, and keep going from there. So I just want to let you guys know that. And with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. My plan is to bring you back in January when we're going to make a ton of money. I won't bring you back in December unless, as usual, I have a compelling reason to do so. Okay? So, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.